Now, the Charlie's Dodge Chrysler Jeep Ram Big Board Friday. Sponsored by Ohio Northern University. The best discoveries come from the unexpected. By the Toledo Clinic. Choose well, feel better. By PT Link Physical Therapy. Feel the difference and get relief now. By Marsha's Homemade Buckeyes. From our kitchen to yours since 1984. By Frickers, the home for fun, food, sports, and spirits. And by Impede Intraseal, a better way to make concrete. Now, here's Jordan Strack. Welcome into Charlie's Dodge Chrysler Jeep Ram Big Board Friday playoff time officially here across Ohio and Michigan. It is win or go home. We have coverage from 14 games plus our Friday night feature that you don't want to miss. Remember, more teams are still alive this year because the OHSAA doubled the amount of schools in the postseason. All right, let's get to it. We start in Division One with the Battle of Tremainsville. Rivals Start and Whitmer playing in round one. Whitmer beat Start 49-18 way back in week one. Spooky season in the student section. Everybody got the Halloween costumes on. Late first quarter, Whitmer up 14-0 already, and they add to it. Kevin Hornbeek hands it off to Jalen Young. He's up the middle. It's 21-0 Panthers. Then into the second quarter, Whitmer on, on to punt. The snap goes way over the head of the punter, goes all the way back inside the 10, so that gives Start great field position, and the Panther defense had to hang tough. On fourth and goal, Spartans go with a quarterback keeper. Whitmer able to keep them out of the end zone, a big stop, and then that would lead to this. They drive the length of the field down inside the 10. Young gets the handoff again up the middle. It's 28-0. The Spartans, though, wouldn't go away right before the half. Start gets something going down inside the 15. Caught by Corval Morgan, but it was too much Panthers. They go on to win it. 42-7. Christy Kopanis has more. It rained the entire Battle of Tremainsville Part 2, but Whitmer also made it pour on offense. A running clock for most of the second half, and the Panthers are moving on with a big round one win over Start. Yeah, I said all day, it's a great it's a great day to run the football, and it got a little bit sloppy there for a while, and uh, we were able to regroup coming out of halftime and, uh, and put it away. Oh, yeah, it was nice. You know, the O-line, they did their job. Open the holes, real nice for me to do what I can do, and like you said, we knew he was going to run the ball coming in this game, and yeah, it was a nice game for me. But yeah, it feels good. It's definitely a big confidence booster for next week, and uh, we're going to stay focused for the team we got upcoming. I mean, it was great. Um, our O-line, they always come to play, I mean. So when Jaylen, when I put the ball in Jalen's hands, I know what he can do, and it's, it's giving me more confidence throughout. So, yeah, um, it means a lot, um, especially after coming off last season, being a 1-5 team, just to come out here and win our first playoff game. It's just great. Now coming off of last year's lackluster season, these guys feel like they have the momentum on their sides and they could be dangerous in this postseason. Reporting from Whitmer tonight, Christy Kopanis, WTOL 11.